this the sale? Uh, we assume so. We're not really sure. <laughs> uh, it looked, uh, this didn't look like five better than it could. Or yeah. it's, yeah, it could be two small. here. Bedrooms. Yeah. Four on the other side. Looks like 60 years worth of hoarding, though. Well, looks like bedroom next to the door there, that's basically empty. Now, the, oh, other, really? side, the other side of the door, it doesn't even look like you can walk through it. <laughs> really? Wow. Yeah, so. I think she saw a dumpster on the one in the back of the 120 house. Did you see that? Oh, yeah, yeah. So I saw the dumpster. That's why we thought, well, maybe they got the address wrong. <laughs> An expert in, you know, in one field, but if you can, if you can become an expert in that field and then branch out and learn other categories, then you're, you can then you're dangerous. You can become an expert faster in the other field. Well, the thing oh, yeah. is, where you're headed. Then you're really dangerous. In this, yeah. in this too, yeah. there, there's nobody who knows everything. Nobody, about, no. You know, no. You're yeah, constantly it's, learning. It's, it's, it's constantly it's, learning. It's unbelievable. I'm sorry, I'm late. Please forgive me. just got to uh, this estate cell. It's a complete order house. Um, we don't know what's inside, and uh, I don't even know what to say right now. It's Sunday, so it's weird we're even out doing this. I should be watching Netflix, hanging out, but I love this shit, so check it out. We'll see. It's obviously second grade, right? Oh, 
I love it. So deteriorated. Can you make it there? Yep, you're good. You got, you'll get crushed by that. So what the fuck do you do? I think you're gonna step on rats. Yep. Nineteen seventy five Florida license plate just now holding She's only gonna be here for a week, didn't she say more? No, that's not Christian, that's not Christian. Oh are you serious? You're yeah. talking about the Atari, she's like, oh twenty four hundred on eBay and a bike. Yeah. I, mean, yeah. I have a funny feeling you're not gonna get it. She's like, thanks, she's gonna get the rich. Yes, the best thing here. We'll see. Huh? I looked it up already. It does do well. <laughs> What's that car? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Those are 1970s plates right there, the black ones. Do you want me to grab this for you? Yeah. No, don't kill yourself over it. Is there anything cool up there? <laughs> oh my gosh. I guess if you're brave, you can... Oh, this one would start getting into... But they're all bent. There's no way I can go in there. Yeah. Oh, I'd have to do another technique. shot. <laughs> <laughs> Arms gonna be alright? Because the boxes do have good stuff in it. It's just how it got. I'm just gonna have to push stuff. Out. Push stuff around. Oh, here it comes. <laughs> God. Sickness is already getting me. Oh my god. I'm gonna push this your way, so come over here real quick. Oh! Tell me what you got. Tell me what you got. Yeah, show us what you got. Okay. What is it? This is an old tether car. Um, How much did you pay for it? 15 bucks. It's a Thimble Drome Champion made by Cox Corporation. 15 And how bucks. much are you going to get for it? Oh, uh, no. Yeah. if it doesn't work and probably 350 if it does so it's all there it might work I highly doubt it but it might pretty cool arcade um, game though so cool. I don't know cabinet and everything so it's light blue all light blue
and if that falls through with them, just I'll go check with my buddy and see. Okay. Um, if, if, it's a, if it's a real one, I might have some interest in it. If it's anything other than a real one, I'm gonna. I have a Donkey Kong Junior. Uh, All right, so we're just packing up, guys. I was there for like, what was it, two hours? Sweaty, dirty. That was so much fun, though. The house was disgusting, but so much cool stuff, like some vintage Disney tees. Um, like, I paid her 50 bucks for everything you see here. We're gonna take it back to the warehouse, go through it a little bit, because I wasn't looking up that much stuff. We were, I was just kind of going with my gut, so um, paid 50 bucks for everything. We're gonna go back to the warehouse and um, total up everything and see what we got, so stay tuned. We gotta load this stuff up. All right, what's up, guys? We just got back to the warehouse. I just unloaded the van, laid everything out for you so you can see it a little bit better. Um, actually surprised we even found anything at that house. It was absolutely crazy, but so much fun. Feel disgusting. I can't wait to take a shower, but I'm gonna show you guys what we picked up, and uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Like I said back in, in the last clip, 50 bucks, and uh, this is what it got us. Yeah. One of the cool things that Katie found was this uh, vintage coffee um, pot, and it's got the little latch so you can kind of let the coffee go. <laughs> but um, that's worth about 25 bucks right there. We'll probably um, sell that pretty quick. Okay, next thing that I found was this pretty cool like American flag Evil Knievel style helmet. This thing goes for like 70 to 80 bucks. Um, it's obviously in pretty vintage condition, but um, overall I think I'll sell it pretty quick. 70, 80 bucks and it's world famous. Um, I'm not really familiar with that brand, but um, yeah, it was a pretty cool find. And like I said, like all, a lot of this stuff really isn't stuff I normally deal in. Um, that was kind of one of those special things where you're just kind of picking and learning about different um, vintage brands and all that stuff. Obviously, everybody knows about the Atari. We got all the different um, switches and cables. It has the power supply and everything. This is the 2600A model and um, really good physical cosmetic condition. Should get about 40 bucks for that, untested or I might test it. We'll see if I even have time. Um, little toy here. I'm not even sure what that's called. It's a little Hasbro 1971 motorcycle. Um, not sure what it's called. Should get about 10, 15 bucks for that. And the Tommy gun. Um, this is a Marks Tommy gun, M-A-R-X. And um, it's just a little kid's toy vintage, probably from the 70s. Um, should get about 20 bucks for that too. Couple. Another cool vintage toy find. This is a Tonka truck. It actually has the tractor trailer that goes in the back and that sells for like 200 to 250 on eBay. This one's in obviously pretty rough condition, but uh, still should get like 40 or 50 bucks out of it. And probably 70s as well, so. Another Tonka find. This one won't fetch as much just because it's a newer model. This is the Tonka T6. Um, little tractor tra trailer, uh, I don't know what it is, but. Um, back out. and uh, yeah over here we got some vintage tees and these are pretty cool because um, they're Disney tees they're Disney um, Disney tees but they're just blank so the story behind these which I thought was kind of cool is uh, the the estate owner's brother actually used to make t-shirts for Disney and I'm actually going to show you guys a few more vintage tees that um, we got over here and they're actually new with tags. So one I was pretty stoked about is the Star Tours Disneyland 1986. If you can see that on there with tags, it's got the Disney tag, 10 bucks. So that was a steal for that tee back in the day. And uh, obviously it would be like 35 bucks nowadays. If you've ever been to Disney, they're on some. Another Disney tee with tags, this one's $12.99. Notre Dame fans out there, Fighting Irish. Um, not sure what this year this one's from, but um, it's a different tag on that one, so I couldn't find it. I'll probably end up wearing this, honestly, to Disney like next week when we go. So, a little Wells, Where's Waldo um, for me out there. It's got the big Mickey on the back. Probably make Katie wear one too. 
and just some other ones that are really cool. Just some Epcot. It's got all different flags up there. And then the vintage Disney, eight bucks. So they were getting deals in the 70s on that. Um, and two, one of my favorite finds of the day is this vintage kids, youth, child, Hedstrom BMX bike. Coming from a BMX background, I was so stoked to find this bike. These are actually new in package. The bar pads, it's got the grips in these ones. You get the little, what are those called again? Training wheels? Little training wheels. You get the little training wheels in the package, brand new for your BMX bike. I mean, you're talking about possibly the cutest bike in the world right here. I might even keep it. And yes, it does come with sealed pedals and grips and manual. Like 12 inch sidewalk bike. How cool is that? Um, I'll probably end up keeping that to be honest with you. We couldn't find any comps on that. Um, but yeah, I'll probably end up keeping it. Pretty cool bike. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, I'm so glad we found at least a couple things to make it worth our while. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and uh, we'll see you guys next video.